Butcher, you may redeem yourself yet. In the meantime, don't get cocky. There's still work to be done. Command will fill you in on the details. Report there immediately. Welcome back to the No One Lives Forever Let's Play. Let's go. Is it possible he was putting on an act? I don't think so, sir. I'm fairly confident the man is an imbecile. I heard the tape and I gotta agree. Still it's clear that Duma Industrial Enterprises is somehow linked to harm. Well, didn't the Baron say that he wasn't really running the show anyway? Who's the vice president of the company? According to our research, his name is Damascus Valentine. D.V. What? His initials, Damascus Valentine, Dmitry Volkov. Coincidence? Seems rather tenuous. But nonetheless intriguing. In any case, we need to know what's in the safe the Baron mentioned to you. It won't be easy, naturally, but it could be the key to this investigation. I'm looking forward to the challenge, sir. That's the spirit. Mr. Smith, what did intelligence find out about the building? It's a veritable fortress. Not only is there a suspiciously large and well-trained security staff, but they've also invested heavily in high-tech surveillance equipment, cameras, infrared alarm systems, the works. They must really have something to hide. Our thoughts exactly. So what's the plan? Who is going inside? You are. What? Why her? It's way too dangerous for a woman. Oh, don't start with that again. Before joining Unity, Agent Archer was something of an expert in, um, covert infiltration, one might say. Breaking and entering, others might say. Whatever the case, this assignment calls for stealth and... Subtlety. Yeah, yeah, I know. Subtlety isn't my specialty. I still think it's too dangerous for her to go in alone. Which is why you'll be providing a distraction for her downstairs. I like the sound of that. How do I get inside? Attempting entry on the ground floor would be suicide even for an expert like Ms. Archer. The only way in is through the roof access. What did you have in mind? Am I going to have to parachute in? Too imprecise. Fortunately, there's an alternative. Dumas Enterprises is erecting a second skyscraper right next to its corporate headquarters. Our surveillance photos suggest that if you can get to the top of the new building, you can use a crane to cross over to the roof of the old one. The surveillance photos suggest that this is possible? It will be close. You'll have a zip cord to cut the difference. I see. Once you're inside the building, you'll need to locate the President's office and find the safe. Photograph anything remotely suspicious. We don't want to tip our hand, so leave everything as you found it. The less they know about our mission, the better. Now then, time is of the essence. Yes, sir. Welcome to Advanced Field Tactics. Here we have the Sphinx Series M Code Breaker. Simply attach it to a standard 10-key security pad, and it will run through a series of combinations until it breaks the code. The duration of this process is determined by the complexity of the code, so it may be advisable to hide until the procedure is complete. Try out your code breaker on this keypad. added an infrared scanner to your sunglasses to help you circumvent the security systems you're likely to encounter. If you see suspicious looking fixtures like these mounted on a wall, be sure to switch on your scanner lest you announce excellent. I'm bored. I never have any fun. Neither do I.
While it's clear that Dumas Industrial Enterprises is somehow involved with harm, it's not entirely certain who the mastermind is. You must infiltrate the company's corporate headquarters building, locate the safe in the president's office, and photograph any relevant documents you find. Agent Goodman will provide a distraction that should draw attention away from you, but you should still expect resistance. Got a new crossbow. One code breaker. Cool. Let's do it. Give me a signal when you're in position. I'll stir things up down here. The diversion should make it easier for you to get inside unnoticed. What kind of signal? I don't know. Something that'll get my attention. Right. Take care of yourself. Don't worry about me. Just get to that safe as fast as you can. You figure out what you're up to, you're as good as dead. Who's Fritzy? Me dog. Oh. It's true what they say, you know, about dogs being man's best friend and all that. Mm-hmm. Not that I turned down a pony, mind ya. What do you think about sheep? Uh, listen, uh, I'd better make my rounds. Righto then. Or a parakeet. Righto then. <laughs> Okay, I guess a little weird. A little bit, a little weird. But. Ah! I go to the chest, we'll fix that. What you. What a shot. Camera, camera again. I'm stuck. Oh, can't see. Three shots, really? Identify yourself. I guess that's a headshot. Shots fired, but no alarm. Cool, cool. And these cameras have supervision.
cameras on here, right? charging you? Not a penny. Wow, send her over to my place when she's done. So, what colour are you going with? You mean the paint? Or white? Hannah was trying to convince me to go with pistachio, but it's so hard to put anything on coloured walls. I know what you mean. I, I've got this Modigliani print I really like, but my apartment was sort of a light tangerine. Man. Yes, it's pretty bad. For decoration, I've been sticking to charcoals and muted watercolours for the most part. I sympathise, believe me. I'm actually hoping I can convince my mum to do the living room next. But I don't know if I can put up with her dog. What kind of dog is it? Yeah, one of those little Jack Russell Terriers. They're pretty smart, aren't they? Yeah, but this one has a skin problem. Oh. It's disgusting. Still, it sounds like a good deal. Yeah, I guess a sticky little dog is a small price to pay. come up with a consistent disbursement schedule. These arbitrary paydays are really getting old. No kidding. My car almost got repossessed last month. That's horrible. I guess it's better than my last job. Not only did we not get paid regularly, we didn't even know how much we were going to get. It was sort of a profit-sharing arrangement, so if we had a slow month, we might get half of what we got the month before. I need more stability than that. If I had legitimate job skills, I'd get out of this racket in a second. Who were you working for, anyway? Fist of Injustice. Oh, I heard about them. Nothing good, I wager. Lucky you got out of there before that deal in Taiwan. Tell me about it. They lost about 30 guys. All because some punk got a conscience and ratted to the cops. Rotten bastard. He's shot food now. Serves him right. Interesting little tidbits of information. Hell? Yeah, you better check it out. Now this is bizarre.
right back where we started. And now the power is on. I think something's going on down there. Well, radio and find out. What the hell are we doing up here anyway? If there's really supposed to be trouble tonight, we should be down there where the action is. What have we came up with this plan? Regulation 471.2. Huh? What's Regulation 471.2? Don't question orders. Got that one memorized, eh? Then study it. 
Never mind that. Radio downstairs and find out what's going on. Sure thing, tough guy. Regulation 471.2. Do you want me to report you? Is that it? I'm going. <coughs> no question orders, boy. Oh. Something to do with this damn thing. No, there was a hook up there, but I couldn't reach it, so can't hook up that thing. There was that fence was early. Oh, 
The old man's new secretary. Yes, what's her name? Patricia? Who cares what her name is? I don't want to talk to her. I just want to get to know her. If you take my meaning. Oh, grow up. You're not one of them guys who likes to talk about his feelings and stuff, are you? No, I'm just one of those guys that likes to get to know a girl before I jump in the sack with her. Not me! The less I know, the better. I used to feel that way, when I was 16. <laughs> yeah? Well, that's your problem. There was a guy like you in my old neighborhood. He was pretty tough, till he ended up with a double whammy of syphilis and gonorrhea, with a stubborn case of crabs for dessert. <sighs> Nowadays, I stay away from anything I'm not sure about. That secretary may be cute, but she's got a thing for sailors. I'm not interested. Mm -hmm.
didn't notice, right? Yeah, I didn't notice. It. Didn't notice this huge explosion. Okay, the doors closed on their own. Okay. So strong now, are we? That was an objective. I just didn't know it. Locked. All right. Fine. Elevator still broken. Which I missed to restore power to the elevator somewhere.
More guards. Oh. Well, this one will open. Don't know where the cameras are, so I'm not going to shoot that guy. Are there any cameras? Goodman, where's that diversion? Locate eight intelligence items. Ugh. Bad, thank you. Anything in here? No door. Going for the whole Japanese office. Are you sure she's in the building? Damn, we'd better double up on security. She probably won't make it to this floor, but I guess it's better to be careful, eh? I'll go wake up Chansey. He's asleep in the break room. in 
Town. No way I'm taking that guy out. Everybody down! Don't die with the security cameras. Oh yeah. Shot all them guys, no alarm sounded, and none of them fell where they can be seen. Excellent. Now that's what you call a professional job. <laughs> This is the executive Japanese area. Down to just four darts. You seen Stinks lately? Who? Phillips, you seen him? Not in the past 20 minutes or so. Damn, where the hell is he? What did you call him? Stinks. You never heard that? No, that's hilarious. Yeah, everybody calls him that. He does stink. Anybody who smokes that many cigarettes a day definitely needs to bathe more than once a week. I'd hate to see the bathwater when he gets out. Probably looks like an oil slick. Stinks. That's just so perfect. Okay, let's see how going loud will be, because usually these cards are stupid. Just lure him out. No problemo. These are very quiet cameras, aren't they? Did you hear that Mischief Incorporated went out of business? You're kidding. I wish I were. 
I really miss those guys. They sure were innovative. Generated some of the best headlines I've ever read. You got that right. I'll never forget that whole penguin suit debacle. That was a work of art. What did Troy have to say? That callous bastard. I was talking to Simon and we were agreeing what a sad day it was. When in struts Troy. As you might expect, he immediately starts sermonizing. It's not sad, says he. It's a natural progression of events. He goes on about how niche-oriented they were, and all that stuff about how you gotta pull off big capers if you want to make it in this business. Typical. What did you say? I says, Troy, just cause death is a biological necessity doesn't make it hurt any less when our loved ones pass on, does it? If me and Simon want to grieve the loss of a great organization, you could at least show a little respect, eh? I'm sure that line of reasoning went right over his head. Well, it might have, but by that time, Simon had him on the ground and was beating the crap out of him. You're kidding. No, he knocked out one of the bastard's teeth. Serves him right. I'll say. Interesting little tidbits when your minions mm. stand there and talk, but... Incoming fire! Down. And that's not... That's not good. Cause there's a camera right there. Oh well, still good enough for forever, right? I played the Baron's off. Yes! Glass was arrow proof. All right, looking for the biggest, poshest office. Let's be able to turn this thing off. There we go. <sighs> Almost made it. Almost made it. Oh well. Now, where's the Baron's office? Be on the right track. Oh, dear. Yes. <laughs> the biggest poshest office. Probably a button under the desk, right? Usually is. No. Mm hmm. This looks like an entrance. Something. Would it be this easy? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. Hmm. Um, 
Easy pattern, up and down, then fast, got it. They go all the, the maybe a glitch, but I think they can pass through the floor just a little bit in some places. I right, take those off. Ooh. Let's get out of here. What's wrong? Volkov. Once again, I find myself aiming a pistol at someone you care about. Drop your gun. How do I know you won't shoot him? You don't. But you can be sure that I will shoot him. Unless you do as I say. Don't listen to him, Archer. I realize you are American, and therefore feel entitled to speak your mind whenever you please. But you are also at gunpoint, and very likely to be shot, if you don't shut up! Go to hell. What did you say? Nothing. I heard you. Tell me what you said. I thought you wanted me to shut up. Now you want me to talk? Make up your damn mind. You are testing my patience. Miss Archer, I suggest you drop your weapon before your obnoxious American friend forces me to silence him, once and for all. Don't do it! Get out of here, He's now! Here. Give Tom! Up. Go! Go! After her! I hope you are pleased. Looks like he might have been talking to God there, but this has been the uh, No One Lives Forever Let's Play. Thanks for watching.